Welcome back, Mercat family or nation. So I'm already doing it already. And welcome back to Starbound. And you see my little grove of trees. So I have a steady supply of wood. Let me see if I'm going to show you guys the seeds. Oh. They're usually in the furniture tab. Let's go ahead and cut one of these down and see if it'll drop me a seed. <coughs> oh, there's a seed right there. Just like in Terraria, you get the acorns to grow trees, and this one you get saplings. And these can be planted and pretty close together, too. So I have a heck of a grove. And they look like a little futuristic pod. Alright, before we get started here, make sure to like, subscribe, and share my, my content. I need all the help I can get, especially from the Meerkat Nation. Alright, I did some stuff off camera. As you see the thing on my back, it's a lantern stick. See, I was lucky enough, underground, somewhere, pretty much straight down from here, there was a small uh, oil biome, or tar. <clears throat> Do I even have those blocks on me right now? Yeah, see, I got oil and tar. There was a very small biome, but I had a few little pools of this tar, or this oil, and when I had the upgrade for... Uh, my matter manipulator, the uh, collection of liquids and whatnot. This allowed me to pick up the oil. That's why I say you need it. It allows you to make stuff like this. And uh, the lantern sticks pretty awesome. It, lay, it puts a light radius around you when you're underground, so you don't have to worry, rely on torches too much. I built this gun. All right, the iron revolver pistol, 3.8 red damage. Rate of fire and energy per shot is pretty high compared to this gun, which I found, which is 1.156 and 3.4. So it fires faster, but it does less damage. This thing fires slower, but does more damage and costs more energy. <clears throat> Alright, and I did something over here. You see, I made some stairs. I made me a nice house as a base. <clears throat> and here it is check out my lovely home I put a few chests up here whatever I had on me <coughs> but as soon as I start talking my start wanting to cough and my throat's all messed up <coughs> <coughs> my throat just instantly fills with phlegm and it just becomes worse <coughs> now it sounds gross but that's what happens but uh yeah this I, I spent about roughly 30 minutes maybe maybe a little bit more to build this house these are roof tiles I made a chimney I don't know if there's any way to aesthetically make smoke I know you can in a terraria but I'm here not that I know of but the dining arrangement I got a fireplace and I have my uh, crafting area down here but I wanted to do something before we move on. Didn't find too much underground. I found some ores. And that's pretty much it. I got all this stuff off camera. All this stuff I already had. I didn't have this because I just made it not long ago before we got started. For a reason. It was kind of expensive too. But yeah, I got some more of these core fragments. I went really deep all the way down to the lava layer. I even died down there because I fell to the core of the planet. Which is just a huge lake of lava. And, but I, I built these uh, 20 uh, woven fabrics for a reason. If I go into my crafting thing, you see I got this Nova Kid flag. It takes 20 fabric and one copper bar. And let's go ahead and make this. I am able to reconfigure the ship's teleporter to teleport directly to the location marked by this flag. Place to interact with the flag and establish a name. What name do we want? Think about putting it right here. Alright, let's go ahead and put down a flag. 
move this window out of the way. Let's do it right about here. There we go. Now these are the flags I was talking about in the last episode and the one before that where you can put these on anywhere in the universe and you can, keep, you can use your ship's teleporter and teleport straight here from anywhere in the universe without having to fly all the way back here. <clears throat> so that's why it's a good idea to build a home base. Most people I know that always plays this game, they build their base on like the ship itself. Before we get started today, I want to turn down that music. Holy. Let's turn down to 20. It is extreme. Alright. What should we name this planet? Let's see. Nope. There we go. Make that nation and an exclamation point just to hit it at home. So we're on Illusoria. Illusoria Gamma 1. There we go. This is the Meerkat Nation planet. If I build this planet up off camera and on camera throughout this playthrough, we might be able to play some multiplayer with me and my fans. And we could just build on this planet together. I wanted to find some chests off camera, but I couldn't find anything. But I did find the oil. And I'll show you guys what it requires to build all that real fast. Uh, I think it was in here. New forging table. Alright, here we go. So you need the Explorer's Lantern, which is 5 iron bars, 10 oil, and 1 torch. And it makes this. And then you can turn that, oil, uh, that lantern into the lantern stick. Which is iron bar, wooden logs, and Explorer's Lantern. And you wear it on your back like a backpack. And uh, it allows you to see in the caves and whatnot. Very handy. It, it, you don't have to rely on the torches so much. You still use them, but not as much as you have to because it's dark. Okay, let's get off the... Uh, see how I'm producing a light radius around me? Even in this nice and dark area. And that's why it's really handy. Alright, guys. We got something to do in this episode. We're going back to that portal. We got all those core fragments. It's time to go back to that portal and see where it takes us. Off camera, I farmed a little bit more of these vines because I needed those. I just It takes a lot to build that uh, the woven fabric. It takes four uh, plant fiber per woven fabric. And it just ate my vines up or the plant matter which you do need to use to make these uh salves hey you i haven't really used this pistol yet i think i built it right when i turned it off i do more damage now because i got this armor i don't know if i did this on camera or not well I'm getting sandwiched here that is not a good thing let's go to three Use one of the bigger ones. They heal more faster too. You don't have to wait for it to fill up. But they're more expensive of course. Well we'll go to the portal if we can get there without dying. Got a lot of enemies in the way here. Haha. <laughs> Goodbye. Just keep jumping there and stay over there dude. I know there is uh, planets in the universe, uh, a lot of them actually, <clears throat> almost once, one per system, not all the time though, that allows you to build, it's just an empty plant that has no enemies, no nothing, that's just mainly just for you to build on. I've never played multiplayer in this game before, so I don't know how to do it. <clears throat> Probably works through Steam, because I got this through Steam. Nope. These guys sing to you, it's kind of cool. If you're not, if you don't like, cause them to come after you. They sing the main theme to Starbound. There's a lot of enemies through here. Barely get anywhere. Nope. Careful of fall damage. You better not be an enemy. Got too many of those as it is. 
But while I was building my house, I had one of those little uh, dudes crawling around outside. And he didn't notice me, so... I noticed they sing the main theme to Starbound. Or they're singing the song from the planet that you hear. That's really loud. Alright, I gotta get across here somehow. Well, you're sealed in there forever, dude. Let me use another one of these. My salves. Just to get to the portal, I'm getting my butt kicked. Will this give me a healing thing? No. Makes it worse. That's my luck. At first, uh, when I started this, my luck was great. And if you're in America, I'm recording this on Thanksgiving. And uh, to all my Meerkat uh, nation out there that watches my videos. Oh man, I'm getting some serious frame drop. Look at this. What is going on? Alright, I need to build some more of those salves. I am getting low. Let's see if we can build. Actually, let's just turn that off. Let's do 15. There we go. Need all the healing items I need, man. All these healing items. How much does it cost per cell to make? It takes four as well, just like the woven fabric, which you need the spinning wheel. Alright, here we are. We're at the portal. The portal. Alright. Require fragments. 20. Activate. You appear to have successfully activated the gate, and it seems another message is coming through. <clears throat> Please come. I urgently require help. The universe depends on it. Use this ancient gateway and meet me at the Ark Ruins, just past the outpost. Ark Ruins. Ooh, mysterious. Here we go. I won't. I probably won't be able to be uh, or read fast enough to read everything. A good thing I got it on screen. Ooh. Ah, uh, doggy, doggo, doggo. Infinity Express. Look at that price of that gas, man. That is extreme. What can we get here? We got liquid Icarus fuel. Fuel. This is the fuel that you uh, for your ship. You can buy batteries. Ooh, this is a big medical kit, but they're three hundred apiece. I might buy a couple of these. Just in case, I want to buy some of this Icarus fuel. I know that if you're in your in the same solar system, it doesn't cost you fuel to get between planets. But if you want to travel outside the solar system and move to a different one, that's where it costs you fuel. And you can buy silk here too. At 500 a piece. Wow, canvas. These are required to make. Uh, these right here. The synthetic material on canvas uh, thing allows you to make these medical kits. You can make this stuff later on. There's some food here. This place is expensive though. Alright. Anything? No. What is up? There's another human. Well, I'm not a human, but humans are not very well known in this galaxy here. I'm getting some serious frame drops. I like to have this refrigerator. <clears throat> oh, there's a cooking thing here, too. This allows you to actually cook meals. And I figured out when I was telling you guys in that last episode why I couldn't scan anything. And I figured out why. It's because you have to come here first to do the scanning thing. All oh, Thor and shit. Hunt and seek glory is what we do. Uh, I didn't read all that. Look, a penguin. Got a ship? You should check out the Penguin Bay out back. We often blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. New quest. I've been developing technology that will enable the user to swiftly dash from one point to another. But I'm lacking a few crucial components for my prototype. Could you help me be by bringing ten copper bars? And I have ten copper bars. Can I do the tech? 
My dash tech needs to be properly tested before I can go into mass production. Would you mind putting it through its paces on my obstacle course? Talk to me again when you're ready to, and I can send you there. Alright. Send me there. <clears throat> These allow you to get the uh, upgrades for your movement. Dash, double jump, stuff as such. See, that's the dash. Push uh, D or A twice rapidly. And it causes you to dash. Oh, I didn't read what he said. Oh, wasn't quick enough. He won dash again. No. Okay, so. There we go. Beautiful. These doors appear to be on a very limited timer. It is laudable that you intend to preserve through these frustrations. Laudable? I haven't heard that before. Okay, I see. That was not that difficult. These will be more difficult. Reading any case, these are cryogenic blasters. They are not lethal, but any contact with them significantly slows your progress. Yep, slows you down. Way too slow. Yep. <clears throat> Wow, that really helps me out, doesn't it? There we go. Made it. What? Why didn't you just stayed on for like four hours? Get through. Nope. Of course, she had to just turn around right when I was about to walk through. And I think this is probably the worst of all three. I think you get three of them. Uh, upgrades in these. This one's probably the worst one out of them all. And of course, you had to just walk one more step and stop walking into it, dude. Out of all three of them, this one is literally the most frustrating. No, of course. It's the last obstacle, too. <clears throat> Look how long that stays on. There's no point to that. And, of course. No stop. Yay! We made it, little ladies and gentlemen. We made it. Teleport back to Outpost. Got the hardest one out of the way. The other two were very easy. <clears throat> Not very. It's depending on the person, I guess, but. They're better than that one. But now I get the tech, actually. We gotta talk to him first. The console in this room is configured to uh, alter the tech abilities you have equipped. Interacting with it will allow you to install new tech. Nice. Okay, silver bars. Could you bring me silver? I've been working on a new piece of tech that enables the user to perform a jump in midair, allowing them to reach incredible new heights. Unfortunately, I require a few more components before I can finish. Yes. Do I have silver bars? I think I do. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of silver bars. Alright, here you go, bro. Let me see, do I have this? Yes, I already have this tech. So now after I finish that mission, I can dash. And these do get upgraded. As you see, you can go here. You can upgrade to blink dash, sprint, and air dash. I don't like, I like the double jump and the ball tech. That's my two favorites. Ball tech is awesome. My pulse jump tech needs thorough testing before I can begin distributing it. My new obstacle course is ready and well uh, waiting. Talk to me again. Yep, yep, yep. Or slash him with a sword. Yeah, slash you. Haha. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> 
All right, this one's really easy. I think the easiest one is the ball tech. To use the pulse jump, press the space bar while in the air. Doing so will give you a small upwards boost. Pop. Yeah, this one's not that hard. Yeah. Me speaking, not that hard, and I missed that jump. No. All right. Yeah, this one's easy, and the ball tech is probably the easiest. I like the ball tech. Now this one's a more tricky jump. You gotta fall and jump. And that's pretty much it. That was the entire test. Or oh, I just messed up right there. No, and uh, not like Terraria. You know, I tell you, you cannot swim not unless you have flippers. In this game, you can swim, so you don't have to worry about it. I think this is probably the more difficult jump. Yeah, it's not that bad. Alright, we were done with that one quick. Yeah. Double jump is one of the really handy, very useful upgrades in the game. And ball tech, if you ever played Metroid, you'll know what I'm, what I'm talking about, the ball tech. Alright, so the uh, double jump, I'll have to turn it in first. I'm getting extra money. Not by much, but then. The pulse jump tech appears to be operating wonderfully. Keep that one. You've earned it. Come see me again when you're ready for more work. Sure enough. Well, there it is. And you can have a wall jump, multi jump, so you can jump three times instead of two. The rocket jump allows you to get a big boost. <clears throat> Actually, how much does it cost for this one? Eight. And then the tech cards he's talking about is these actually yeah these right here is what you need <clears throat> but he pays you in these weird all right the tech i'm working on now is truly fantastic it enables the user to compress into a small spherical form ideal for moving around in tight spaces i need some final components to finish it could you bring me 10 gold bars and i have 10 gold bars I've got 37 <coughs> Why is my throat so messed up? Only when I need to do my YouTube stuff. Most excellent. Now all that remains is to test the distortion sphere tech. And I've got just the course for it. My distortion sphere tech is ready to roll. Ah, pun. I'd like you to test it on the new obstacle course I've set up. You should have no problems getting into any of the art narrow spaces inside. Talk to me when you are ready to go. Well, we are ready. We're always ready, right? In the Mechat Nation, we're always ready. <clears throat> Alright. Press F to make use of the Distortion Fears tech to transform in and out of compressed form. So, F key. Boop. Metroid, anybody? I like the sticky ball. <laughs> and it does take your energy every time you transform. Wait for it to recharge. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Simple enough. <clears throat> uh oh. It appears we will have to activate your distortion spear mid jump to get into this passageway. Like this? <laughs> Just let yourself roll, man. Oh, yeah. Ooh, speed. And that's it, guys. And that was the hardest part to jump, turn into the ball while in mid jump. Oh, yeah. Back to the. To the telestop. <clears throat> One stop telestop. Alright, penguins everywhere. Well, we finished all three tech upgrades. Excellent. The Distortion Fear te Sphere Tech it performed just as I had hoped it would. Please keep it, though. Thanks to, uh, to you, I've been able to make significant strides in my research. <clears throat> no problem, bro. You just gave me some cool stuff. Alright, so Distortion Sphere. What I like is the Spike Sphere. Costs eight tech cards, but you have to buy all these before you can get this one. This one allows you to stick to walls. This one allows you to... You go across uh, the surface of the water. 
This one lets you do a dash. All right, we're done there. Oh, we got a bear up here. He doesn't look too happy. What's up, man? Ursa Major. That's funny. Constellation. My little dipper lost his bear. Our dear teddy bear. Why would they have a teddy bear? That doesn't make any sense. I just can't finish setting up shop without, uh, with him like this. Can you help me get a new teddy bear for him, please? Can you get a reward back? Sure. What is going on inside that bathroom? See the stall? Does this guy got like a cape? Go to the rainbow rogues. Protect the innocent from harm. Rainbow rogues? I've never seen these guys before. That's kind of cool. I want that, that, that armor. I know this is a shop, but it's closed. Yeah, there's a lot of people using the bathroom. Let's go down <clears throat> to the scary side. I always wonder what this is. I don't know if I've ever unlocked it. Actually, I might have. Nothing in there. All these are searchable, so you might get something out of them. What's this? Oh, I, I think I talked about uh, talked about the mech you can have in here. This is the mech bay. Allows you to upgrade the mech. We have to do a little mission for him, but he's not ready yet. Ha! <laughs> Now this looks like from Back to the Future, when Marty McFly was wearing the radiation suit. Looks just like that actually. That is, that's cool. Neat reference. Break easy, or beak easy. This actually is a, a game, a mini game. Might have to do this later, but it's not powered. Help me out, would you? Business around here hasn't been so great since all my regulars are on the run from Dreadwing and his gang of crooks. Can you go and defeat Dreadwing for me? Come speak when you are ready. I'll send you right to him. Well, we'll accept it, but we're not doing that right now. That one's a tough fight. That used to, the boss that he takes you to is actually the first boss that was in Starbound a long time ago when it first released. But that is a bit tough, so get your fixer up your fix up here. A few auto chips and this is chat boxes go by pretty quickly. Are you a shop? Yep, auto chip. A crucial component of vehicle repair. And it says uh, hover bike. I don't think I've ever bought a hover bike. I did buy this though. This boat is actually in another game called Treasure Island. It was like treasure adventure game that's what it was called made by the same people and the boat is the same design if you ever play a treasure adventure game I might put that on my channel it's a cutesy game not really what's these old floating specs another tarot porter see I can teleport straight to my flag or to my ship so every time you run into a teleport like this, you can actually go to any flags you have set down. And you can actually make these or buy these teleporters later on. Hmm, what is all this? What is all this? Look at this great big door. Hello, dear. Is that a matter manipulator you're carrying? Or, or carrying? Excellent. So you're a protector. I'm sorry to say, perhaps the last after the, the terrible destruction of Earth. It's sadly inev inevitable that we should meet now. My name is Esther Bright, retired Grand Protector. I left some years ago, an impossible decision, but my research could not be neglected. I discovered things long forgotten that weigh heavy on the present. Long ago, there was a force known as the Cultivator, it maintained balance in the universe. Under its influence, harmony reigned, 
so it was for eons. But this tranquility proved finite. I, being a, a, a rose, one of hate and destruction, was the ruin. The ruin could not abide life in any form and re, uh, reaped destruction upon the universe. It fought to blot out law life and would have succeeded but for the sacrifice of the cultivator. The cultivator rose against the ruin and succeeded in sealing it away. But in doing so, the cultivator exhausted his power completely. Before its loss, our last energies dissipated, the cultivator gifted six chosen races with precious artifacts. These six artifacts, when united, form the key that opens the gate to the ruin. The fences are crumbling. We must unite the artifacts, reach the ruin, and truly destroy it. This is a lot to take in there, dear, and a huge request to make of you, but I would like your help. The artifacts are scattered across the stars. I can't find them alone. We must find them and eradicate the ruin before other planets go to the way of Earth. Sad days. And you get six stones. Each uh, hole here fills with a different color stone. Thank you for joining me, dear. With you, with your help, I know we can triumph. And you get a ro uh, reward back. Hope I get something good for it. First things first, though, dear. You need a ship in good working order. Who knows how far you'll have to travel before we're done. I think you should return to the outpost and speak to the Penguin Pete, the shipyard captain. Okay. Alright, let's open our reward bag before we go here. <laughs> Tech card. Nice. I'm almost to uh, getting... Well, it's going to cost a lot to get this uh, spiky ball. Ball! It's fun to go down that uh, with the ball on these stairs and stuff. You get it. Keep going. There he is. We talked to this guy early. I can repair that ship, but it's going to take 20 Icarus crystals. You better get yourself over the Icarus mining facility. I've sent the location coordinates to your ship's sail. Yep. That's telling he's telling you about the mining facility. Now this mission, I'm not quite ready for yet, so. I want, well, actually, I might be ready for it, but I'm not sure if I got the time, because it takes a bit, and there's a boss fight, so I might save it for next episode. I didn't want to use one of my salves. Oh, well. Don't just jump down on me like that, man. But, yeah, um, the next area, that Icarus mining facility... There's a boss at the end of it, and there's these pink dudes that do a lot of damage. Not sure if I'm ready for them. I want a better gun than this. Something that has a little bit better fire rate. Before we start. She doesn't tell me about the scanning thing. I thought the scanning thing was first. Actually, let's go ahead and head back. She might have that scanning mission for us. So we can actually use our scanner to learn new things for decoration. And useful items too <clears throat> like a refrigerator oh. I'm here whenever you need me dear especially if we need uh, you'd like a mint humbling what that a candy yeah there's nothing else here and you have to do the Icarus mining facility before you can do anything else for her okay but I want a sticky box there is a secret on this place or in this place there's a secret area. But I can't get that yet until we have the sticky ball. And the sticky ball is very useful for doing the uh, the Icarus uh, mining facility. Because there's a secret on there too. 
Why well, keep calling it sticky ball? It's a spiky ball. Not a sticky ball. Maybe because it sticks to walls and ceilings and things. And that's why I call it that. There's another teleporter. Okay, what's it going to cost for this one? It's eight. I'm missing one. Eight, eight, and eight. I want this one before we move on. So, off camera, I'm going to dig underground to see if I can find some more tech chips. The wall that I'm on is kind of limited on treasure at the moment. The first planet doesn't have a huge amount of treasure on it, but you can find chests and stuff. It's just not often. So I'm going to probably end the episode here. We have made some progress on the story. We found the gate. We found this place. And you got to see my new home. And we built a flag. So next episode. I'm going to play off camera for a bit. So I can try to find some more tech cards. So I can get the sticky ball. I just need one more. And after I get the sticky ball. I'll be ready to go straight to the Icarus Mining Facility and we can start that mission. That'll be the next episode. We got a robust fight to do in the next episode. Oh yeah. Alright guys. Well, thanks for joining me here today on this uh, this adventure. And if you'd like to become part of the Mikat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. I need all the help I can get. And let's grow this family. And if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show your support. Help me and my family out. And don't forget about that notification bell to keep up my latest videos. I upload daily except for Sunday right now. But that might change real soon, actually. Real soon. And I do have a, uh, a new outro screen that will be showing on December 1st for uh, the whole month of December. I might even have an intro screen I got I'm gonna do too as well, so Ooh, what is that? Soggy Eve. Alright guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.